Our next element of art is shape. And anytime you're drawing, you're using lines and shapes to create an image. But there's many different types of shapes we can use in our artwork. They can be geometric, freeform, or organic. Geometric shapes are using special math rules and have names. Examples include squ squares, rectangles, triangles, circles, and polygons. Usually the shapes you learn about in math or geometry are geometric shapes. But also we have our free form or organic shapes. They're irregular and uneven. They can also remind us of nature, resembling things like leaves, flowers, and clouds. So here's some examples of organic or free form shapes. Look around the room and see what shapes you see you notice that can be geometric. When I'm looking around in my room right now, for example, I see some rectangles from the posters. I also see rectangle bricks for the walls. I can see a circle for a roll of tape. I also see a triangle because there's a little flag hanging on the uh, board. You'll probably see more freeform and organic shapes. For example, a pencil that's sitting right in front of me. That's more of a freeform shape. I'm just drawing the outside, the outline of it. I also see kind of a palette shape, the paint palette hanging on the wall. So any other shapes that you might see, I see a pumpkin shape. If someone was making a paper mache pumpkin and a flower shape. Okay, so any freeform or organic shapes that you might see or notice around you.